Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we are doing a little bit something different here. We are actually looking at a modification for the second generation Chevrolet Volt. Now, the uh, second generation Chevy Volt comes with a 120 volt, uh, you know, standard wall socket charger, but uh, the charger is actually capable of 220 or 240 volts, um, which is pretty cool. It's, it's actually a very high quality unit. Some some folks on the the Chevy Volt forums have uh, have dissected it, and uh, you know basically found out that it was it's made by a company called Clipper Creek, and they make very high quality chargers. So. Uh, pretty cool that you get one of those, and this is only the second generation Volt. Not not sure uh, if it applies. Oh, actually, it definitely doesn't apply to the first generation Volt. It might actually be the same charger as the Chevy Bolt with a B, but uh, we don't have one of those cars, so I I can't tell you for sure. Um, but what you can do is actually you you, may, you can make a little adapter like this, and they're they're this is basically like twenty dollars worth of parts from Home Depot. And with that, you can actually convert um, a, a 240, 250 volt plug um, to a, an outlet that you can plug the volt charger into, uh, effectively tripling the amount of power that you can, uh, you can charge the volt with, right? So effectively cutting the charge time uh, by a third. So uh, the, sto the stock wall charger uh, basically cranks out about one kilowatt, right, or 1,000 watts of power um, at 120 volts. When you hook it up to 240 volts, um, it uh, it basically uh, goes up to about 3 kilowatts. Uh, so uh, a huge difference there in terms of charge time. Uh, you know, from empty, it takes about four and a half hours or so to charge that 14 kilowatt hour battery in the volt. Uh, on 120 volts, that takes like 12 hours. I, I think it's, well, the, yeah, probably about 14 hours uh, at one kilowatt per hour. That would take you 14 hours to charge from uh, from an empty uh, state of charge to a, a full charge. So uh, we're going to show you guys how we made this. I, I actually uh, bought two plugs here. You, you can see um, in, in our garage, we actually have a, a uh, this is called a 1450 configuration um, and uh, so th that's this plug over here uh, this is from Home Depot uh, Leviton um, makes this plug and you can actually have it in a variety of configurations so that's what we have at home um, I bought this the standard dryer plug uh, which is which is called a um, what is this called uh, I forgot the plug name here uh, that would be a I think it's a 1030. Um, so, you know, basically 30 amps uh, and it's in this configuration. So uh, when I'm on the road or, uh, you know, I, but, but I know that there's a dryer plug available um, like we had down in, in SoCal this past week, um, I can actually reconfigure the plug really quickly to, uh, to charge from any standard dryer bolt, uh, dryer outlet. So I'm gonna show you guys how we how we made this here. Again, this is if you if you're not comfortable with uh, with electrical wiring, this this is dangerous. This can actually the, these put out enough power to to seriously hurt or kill uh, you. So you know if you're not comfortable with something like this, please do not attempt this. Uh, this is is something to be only attempted at your own risk. Um, you know we we uh, we don't assume any of that liability here. So you are doing this. Uh, at your own risk if you choose to to undertake this this project uh, but anyways we'll, we'll go ahead and get these uh, this the screws off of this and show you how we made this plug all right so we've got the plug open here we unscrewed it and you can see how it's wired in here right so um, essentially in a normal 120 volt outlet you've got uh, one of these is hot, one is neutral, and the one is ground. Uh, with the adapter here, what we're doing is actually, uh, you're going to have two hots and a ground. 
right? So uh, both of these are going to be hot. Um, now, what does that what does that mean? Actually, you have you have two different phases of 120 volts. That's uh, that's what gives you the 240. Um, so uh, again, you don't you wouldn't want to um, plug anything else into this except for the Chevy Volt charger. So you, you probably want to put a warning label around this, right? As, as recommended in the forums. Uh, and you know this this yeah d don't undertake this if you don't feel comfortable with wiring um, because you know in a setup like this too where where you have a, 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 a an older dryer plug that doesn't have a ground um, the the charger uh, will actually f uh, throw a fault if there is no ground so you need that ground to be in there for safety purposes as well um, so just make sure that you you find if you're not comfortable, find somebody who is a qualified electrician or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this out. And that, that's where these newer uh, 1450 plugs come into play because they, they have both uh, a neutral and a ground, which is great. And the plugs are actually interchangeable. So uh, you can see how I, I've got this set up here. I'm going to swap out the the... Um, you know the uh, the L-shaped plug here for the appropriate plug on the 1450. So I'm just going to unscrew this and switch over to our normal setup here. Um, but you know it is quite handy to have both both options available to you. or rather multiple options if you are on the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in this ground just to see where the wire alignment was. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm just go ahead and wire this. Put this on here. All right, so we've got the wires and the the pins all settled here, and um, you can see uh, we, we've used the strain relief just in the inside of the enclosure as well, just to to provide some extra stability here. Um, you know, I, I might do some further improvements around here, like put some ring terminals for the wires or whatnot. But uh, it's it's been uh, it's been meeting the needs quite well here. So, uh, you know, once you put on this top, then the strain and relief will be captured. And why is this thing closing properly? And, uh, and there we go. And you can see different iterations. Folks have done different things online uh, using different plugs and stuff as well. Uh, but uh, pretty cool that uh, the, the charger with the, the volt is actually 240 volt capable. And with this uh, handy little adapter, you can charge your car in a third of the time. So thanks again for watching. Let us know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.